Galactic Federation of Light Update, August 30, 2016. 8 bats, 15 Ruo, 13 Kaban. Selamat Jawa. This world is now under stress. Final conflicts are being drawn out everywhere. The light has managed to gain the upper hand in all of these concluding events. The dark can clearly see that its last struggles are only to end in defeat. These last arguments, which include the new monetary system and the accompanying financial system, have largely been decided. Even the introduction of the currency exchanges has begun. It is expected that many of you are soon to receive vital information that is to permit you to take your long-held currencies and exchange them for vast amounts. These are just part of a way to jumpstart the many long-awaited currency exchanges first promised a few years ago. The main obstacles came from a de facto American regime, which greatly feared the results of such large monetary exchanges made by those who had never before been given such an extended series of tremendous opportunities. Nevertheless, this is just a beginning, caused by the many delays that hampered the sending out of what are called the prosperity programs. This fact has slightly altered the original sequencing. The prosperity programs have long been tied to what is now called the New Nasara Republic. It is this entity that the Dark greatly fears. It brings into power a legal entity charged with returning this government to U.S. constitutional authority and ends all the illegal practices that severely debased its currency and diminished people's rights. This new temporary governance, four months in length, is to right all of this and gives America common law, liberty and immense prosperity. It is this new governance that is to encourage peace, cooperation and harmony among nations. It is also to make the first global overtures that are to lead swiftly to full disclosure of our benevolent existence. It is to allow us to publicly address you about first contact and how, together, we can move all of you toward full consciousness. This process is to include our mentor program and the use of a living crystal light chamber. All of this is to include a series of key lectures by your ascended masters. This process of prescribed change contains a growth in consciousness, spiritual awareness, that heaven is now beaming daily to you. You need to realize that what is currently going on is part of a vast reality change, fully choreographed by heaven. At present you reside on a dimensionally divided world. The inner part, known to us as Agartha, is an inner earth realm filled with fully conscious beings who live in a fifth dimensional realm. The other part is your surface reality. This is a three-dimensional realm that was the result of vile Atlantean experiments that have kept you in a limited consciousness reality. You are the offspring of an experiment that has been in effect for roughly the past 13 millennia. This extraordinary phenomenon is slated to end in the next few years, and we are here to be the chosen instruments to ensure its success. Heaven sincerely intends to return you to full consciousness and unify the dimensional essence of this world. This activity is to allow you to return with good grace to your former realities. The present time marks the end of this era and the dawn of a new one forged by your transformation into fully conscious beings. This process has a fluid timetable set forth by Heaven. We fully understand how the length of time it is taking is frustrating. Again. We need to remind you that you are ending this reality by changing it into one marked by what most of you may well call miracles. You and I are altering the very nature of this reality. You are to learn how to create ships that can easily and quickly traverse space, thereby traveling from one world to another. These travels are to take mere minutes and thoroughly dispel notions that you long have harbored. Use these times to relearn your true history and interstellar origins. These realities are to be yours as you become more conscious. The key to this is how you allow yourself to go forward. It is all about spirit and not what you call material energies. More is yet to come. Namaste. We are your ascended masters. I am a weary traveler who, over the many centuries and millennia that I have walked, has seen both the light and the dark of numerous souls. I strode this land to gather wisdom and to embrace the light. Heaven has given me a grand mission. This mission is to teach and show humanity the light, and to reveal the untold treacheries of the dark. 
These journeys permit me to see many worthy men and women, and in a special flick of light to easily turn them into the wonders that they truly are. In this time, you are the truly worthy ones who are in need of divine conversion. Heaven has fashioned a plan that I and others now wondrously follow. You are on a path to a glorious destiny. This pathway is still trod by many of dark persuasion who dearly intend to cast you aside. Be wary of these, and know without doubt that the light is here to ensure that this road leads faithfully to a sacred end. Be strong and ignore the queries of the doomed. Those who seek to preserve this hell, are in fact, on the verge of a wide extinction. These series of alterations are to bring you face to face with a number of somber realities. You are a despaired child of the Creator. Through a prolonged series of amnesias, you have lost your way. We are here to restore the path that the Dark Force you to abandon so long ago. Back on this path, you are to rediscover the human kindness and holiness that the Dark overlaid with division, divisiveness, and deceit. The Light, in this way, is to enable you to learn many unknown things about yourself. You are a being filled with the Creator's goodness. It is our task to scrub this from the centuries of dirt that now surround you. So be wary and able to listen carefully to what we are to say. The light has long protected you, preventing the dark from extinguishing the special essences that are the real you. Our mission is to take this holy vessel further and refill it with what it was intended to carry. This project is proceeding as intended. Deep down, this serious and lengthy sequence of vital conversations somewhat frustrates you. This, of course, is to be expected. You have become beings who, like the dark, are filled with needless anxieties. This is one of the things that are shortly to be expunged from your light encrusted soul. You are to learn divine patience and uncover truths that you left behind when you fell from the sacred grace of unfettered divine consciousness. This sacred tool is again to be presented to you. Be wise and able to accept what heaven so graciously gives you. Hosanna! Hosanna! Today, we continued our weekly report about what is occurring around this globe. A new reality is being born that is to be highlighted by a growing prosperity and new governance. Much good is now appearing everywhere for all to see. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal. www.paoweb.com